Well, good morning. Today is Saturday, January 12th. And we're on our way to our Weight Watchers meeting. Gina, on one of your links, I sent you. I, I, I'm wondering, I lost you there for a minute. I don't know if you're still there, but anyway, today's Saturday, January 12th, in case I have to repeat myself. Um, I was talking to Gina Pearson. You guys can listen in if you want. It's not a secret. But she never wears her seatbelt the right way, because, and I understand, because she's a little person, and she uh, it goes across her neck. There is a... I send it on one of your videos, but I'm going to look it up again and I'm going to send it to you again. Um, there's a contraption that you put on it for like kids. And it, it holds it back so it doesn't go across your neck. And I didn't think it was that expensive. I think it was like, uh, don't quote me, but I think it was like 10 bucks. So that's not a bad price to pay for your safety. Um, we're on our way to our Weight Watchers meeting. I'm really not feeling a loss. And I'm not just saying that to have you go, oh, Sandy, you ate so well, blah, blah, blah. I know I did eat well, but I ate more than I normally do. And I really just think that my body has to adjust to that. And it has to recognize that that's my new way of eating. And so it's going to play a game. You know, your body sometimes does. You know, like you could be really, really, really good and get on the scale and not lose a pound. And then you think, ah, the heck with it said the F word. The heck with it. Um, and uh, the next week go crazy and eat whatever you want and then get on the scale and lose three pounds. And you think, oh look at I was so good the week before and then this week I eat like crap and I lost weight. No, you didn't really lose weight. It's just that your body was playing catch up. I'm telling you, your body plays a lot of games. They really do. I um, have a lot of running to do after the meeting. I have to go I don't have to. Well, no, I do, because my birds need bird food. I get my bird food at Lowe's. I find it's the cheapest in this area, because they just get it at Lowe's. So I gotta go to Lowe's, and then I have to go to Best Buy, because, okay, buddy, this is this is my lane. I mean, it's kind of late early in the morning to be drunk. Okay, now he's, he was going back and forth. I'd like to know where they're coming from. Um, but anyway, I bought Jim a, a DVD that he, I thought he would really enjoy, and he says, I don't really want it. I think I'll just give it to, to my friend Dick up north. I says, if that's what you want to do. He says, unless you want to bring it back and get your money back. I'm bringing it back and get my money back. I like Dick. But you can buy his own video, DVD. Because this whole series was like $100. If it was like a, uh... A 10 or 15 or 20 dollar DVD. Yeah, I'll give it to Dick. I paid a hundred dollars for this. It's like the whole series. And it's Blu-ray. No. Love you, Dick. Not a hundred dollars worth. So, um let me bring that back. Where else I gotta go? Oh, Target, because I got doubles and triples of some stuff, so I'm gonna bring it back and I know I'm gonna get a store receipt or a store credit. But it's Target. I can always find something at Target that I, that I want. So I'm going to do that. And then just stay on track for the rest of the day. I think I'm going to have pancakes for breakfast. I'm kind of leaning towards pancakes. I'm going to have some pancakes. Stay on track. Um, I kind of want to go to uh, Outback tonight. Uh, we got a gift card for Outback for Christmas. And what better day to use your points than on Saturday when you first get them. So that's my plan. But then I might go... I say I'd rather really go tomorrow. Because Christy's not coming over because Sophia's having a sleepover tonight. And so all the girls will still be there. But Jim's going to be watching football. So we're not going to be going tomorrow. So I don't know. We'll just half see if we're going to go tonight or not. But... I do feel a lot better. I'm sleeping better now that I'm back to my old way of eating, which is not my old way of eating, but my new way of eating. So now that I'm eating properly and healthy, everything's going well for me, and I'm sleeping well, and everything's moving along well, and I just feel so much better. It's just, 
you know, when you're when you're doing so well, you're so proud of yourself, and it's like, this is what you should be doing all the time, so why are you proud of yourself? It's like, usually you should be proud of yourself if you've accomplished something great, and I know this is something really great, but you know what, how many times can you, well, you accomplish it every single day? It is a, is a goal that I reach, reach every day. I try to reach every day, but uh, you know, some days you don't have that much success. And that doesn't mean that you're a failure. You just have to keep plugging away. And that's my plan. I don't know. I'm having weird dreams lately. I don't know why, but when I get a dream, no, I'm not going to get a dream book. Christy has a dream book, and she swears by it. I just, I don't believe in them. I just think that they're, when you dream about certain people, I just think it's their spirits coming to visit you. Even if they're alive. Could be somebody they haven't seen in a while. I think that their spirit kind of goes and sees you. I don't know, I'm just babbling. I'm trying to think of something useful to talk about. I read an article, I'm going to read it again, and then maybe I'll do a video on it for either tomorrow or Monday. Because I usually don't post a video on Sundays, but I might do it today and then schedule it for tomorrow. I don't know. You might see me, you might not. But it's something about how to trick your body into losing weight. The title just kind of caught my eye, my eye, so I thought, well, let's check it out and see. So, hmm. Well, I hope Anita's knee is feeling better. Hopefully she can get out back there and walk, and I know nothing worse than knee pain, I know that. They've come up with so many new surgeries and stuff now, so such non-invasive surgeries. When I had my surgery done, I had my right knee done first. And I remember going in, you know how they bring you in and you're still kind of semi-awake. And then they, I got a, a spinal, I think it was. Or a local, or I don't know. Something big. Well, I was completely knocked out, so it must have been a spinal. But anyway, they, they gave me the numbing thing, and then they came in and uh, they said... Uh, start poking at my knee and they go can you feel that and I go yeah you know like they stick the needle in I go yeah I can feel that and he says you can feel that and I go yeah I can feel that so he's stuck in the needle he says you sure and I go I'm positive so he says did I poke you just then and I go no well how about now yeah so he says oh my gosh and so he says, let me look at your chart they they uh, numbed the wrong leg they were going to operate on the right leg but they numbed the left leg that's just not going to work so the doctor said, so the, they said, well, why don't we just do her left leg? And he says, no, I got all my x-rays for the right leg. Let's just give her another shot and we'll do it. So then that one obviously worked. But it completely knocked me out, completely. So much so that I had my surgery like 10 in the morning. And I wasn't really uh, conscious and aware until like 8 o'clock the next day. Because um, I was just out. Was, I mean, I was awake, you know, I kept, I was just in and out type of thing. But um, there's a machine that you put your leg in that makes your leg completely rotate going up and down and back and forth and all of that. And they put that on me when I got out of surgery and then they never took it off till the next day. So I might, and my knee got plenty of exercise. And so I went to the, um, when they got me up in the morning, they said, well, you need to go to therapy. And then, it's just down the hall. I said, how far is it? And they said, it's just down the hall. You'll walk there. And I said, oh, okay. So my doctor said that unless you um, got up and dressed, you wouldn't get food. That was on his chart. That was one, one way of getting you motivated to get out of the bed. So I got up, got dressed, got my walker, and I walked down to the meet, to the physical therapy and sat down. And they go, well, how did you get here? And I go, well, I walked. And they go, you walked? And I go, yeah, I walked. And they said, you didn't have any pain? And I go, no, I didn't have any pain. I wasn't supposed to walk. I was supposed to wait for the orderly to bring me down. And then I'm, and one more thing, too, is like I had a, a fanny pack with, I didn't realize it was a morphine drip. And then every time you had pain, you were supposed to squeeze it. And then it would give you morphine. I didn't know that. So I was there for three days, I think. And on the third day when they took the bag off, they go, how come you didn't use any of your morphine? I said, well, I didn't know I had it. I didn't know I needed it. She says, well, did, weren't you in pain? And they go, no, not really. Okay, so there you go. Sophia gets her high threshold of pain from me. I'll talk to you guys after the meeting because I really don't think there's a loss.
Well, I was proven wrong. I did lose. I lost 0.5, so I'm down to 235.6, and my total loss is 68.6. I'm going in the right way. I'm going the right way. Yay. And for my next four weeks, let's do this. Because I am going to have a loss every week for the next four weeks, which will put me, what? The 19th, the 20th, and the first week of February. So my first month, we'll see how I did. Because I think, how would that go? Today's the 12th, the 19th, the 26th. It'd be the 2nd of February. So that'll give me a full month. And we'll see how I did. So, so far, I've lost this month 0.5 today and 3.3 last week. So I've lost 3.8 in two weeks. So I'm doing good. That's an average of two pounds a week. So I'm very happy with that. Okay, let's go do our running. Let's see what's 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 it coming for us. I'm gonna stay on track. Um, I think I'm gonna have um, some hot chocolate for uh, my breakfast with my pancakes. Because pancakes and hot chocolate, doesn't that sound good together? Figure it into my points, because that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm gonna have my breakfast. Um, it's Saturday, it's a weekend. I am gonna track, but I am gonna use my weeklies today, because that's what they're for. I find that if I use them on the weekends now, um, it helps me stay on track for the week. So I'm going to have this hot chocolate. I know there's sugar-free chocolate out there. Um, I like to use the points for what I like. So I have the Nestle's and I have the Kodiak pancake mix. And what I do is I put it in my own little Ziploc bag to keep it fresh because I don't use it as much as... Jim won't eat this, he's Aunt Jemima. So, um, but they're very good. So I started my day with a prayer. I've only drank 32 ounces of water. I have to get going on the water. Uh, my quote is, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. Uh, it is a big breakfast, 11 points. Um, I make no excuses. I'm not, I'm not um, feeling guilty and I'm not apologizing. Five points for a half a cup of Kodiak pancake mix. One point for a half a cup of sugar-free syrup. Four points. Um, if you were to not have the packet, if you bought the container, it's two tablespoons. But uh, that's just a packet, so it's uh, four points. One point for eight mini marshmallows. And zero for my egg, bananas, and water. Um, I still have 42 weeklies I can use, and I have 12 points left for my dinner. Well, all in all, I think I had a pretty good day. We uh, ended up, we didn't go to the Outback. Um, we ended up going to Subway. And I had, I got a um, six inch spicy Italian sub with green peppers, tomatoes, onions, some olives, some jalapeno peppers, and some cucumbers on it. And I did have a Coke with it and a bag of chips. So other than that, I think I did pretty good. We went to uh, Danny's uh, this afternoon. I got to see Sebastian and Oliver, and then Sophia stopped by too because the, um, they were stopping by to pick up something from Shannon. So I got to see them. So I got to see Alyssa's in the other room right now. The only one of my grandchildren I didn't get to see was David, and I probably would have seen him if I wouldn't have been back here because he came in to drop Sof Alyssa off because uh, his mom's uh, went out this after this this evening and uh, David was going to stay home but then some friends wanted to go somewhere so he asked if I could watch Alyssa and I said of course I could so I have Alyssa too. Um, we went over there because uh, Danny needed some help fixing his garbage disposal and so Jim helped him. It was an all in all good day. It really was. I didn't get a walk in. I would have liked to have done that but uh, I went to, uh, with all my stores that I went to, I, I did a lot of walking around in the stores. When I went to Target, I walked around in Target, and then I went to Best Buy, and I walked around in Best Buy, and then I went to Lowe's, and I walked around in Lowe's. So I think I got all my steps in. So um, all in all, good day. I'm going to include a video at the end here um, of when um, Sophia was just born. So Sophia's going to be nine. Does it seem possible that Sophia's going to be nine? in June and uh, this was taken she was probably she looks like she's only about a month old so it was in July of 2010 so nine years ago I was a porker <laughs> oh I shouldn't have told you that I should have left it as an uprise <laughs> 
But uh, I like to share my bigger pictures every once in a while. There's not very many out there. I've, I've noticed I didn't take a lot of pictures. I even went through some of my older pictures and, and I didn't, I don't really have a lot of pictures of myself. I don't know, probably because I didn't want to get my picture taken. Now I kind of regret it because now I can see my progress. I can see my progress, but see it like this shirt, it's too big. It, it is, I know it, look how big it is. It's way too big, it's way too big. But you know, it's comfortable. And I was home and I, we weren't gonna go anywhere. We were, I wasn't, I was thinking I was just gonna be home all day and I wasn't gonna go anywhere. I didn't wear this out shopping. I, I wore my Weight Watcher, my, uh, my Weight Watcher outfit. I have a Weight Watcher outfit <laughs> that I wear. That uh, So I weigh the same each, we not weigh the same each week, but you know, like it's the same amount of clothing weight that I'm wearing each week. I'm sure a lot of people do that. But um, I didn't have any plans of going anywhere. And then Danny called and said he was having problems with his garbage disposal. And Jim said, do you want to go? And I go, and see Sebastian and Oliver? Let me think. Oh, of course I want to go. Oh, see Danny too? Yeah, all right. <laughs> so, but anyway, so I did go. I had a good time. And uh, I don't know. It was fun. So uh, tomorrow I'm not going to film. I might put out a bonus video. I don't know. So don't hold your breath. It might not show up. And then on Monday, get back water aerobics on Monday. So um, back on track. I'm going to have my Suzy Q tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, just stay on track. That's my plan. So give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys um, on Monday. Well, here I am seven, no, eight years ago when Sophia was just born. I still have that shirt. I don't wear it anymore, but I still have that shirt. <laughs>